Peace, Flybody World, from your host, Flyby TV, yours truly, I'm Wizzy. I'm just going to give you my uh, uh, quick recap of the X Factor season, the X Factor USA season one. Uh, last night, uh, or let me just say, if you don't know what the X Factor USA is, um, maybe this is not the video for you because I'm not going to go into details about that, but I'm going to just speak about what happened last night. And last night, it came down to the final three, the finale. Chris Renee, Josh Kragic, and Melanie Amaro. Uh, three very wonderful artists. They are um, very different artists and uh, very talented. Uh, starting with Chris Renee, who's a singer-songwriter. I, I think he's, he's very talented, very original. He will sell many records. I think he would be better um, fit for writing his own songs, doing music that fits his style in the way he wants to do it, because that's the best uh, the best display he ever he ever did on that stage was when he did his own music. So I look forward to seeing what he can do in the future. Uh, Josh Kragic, very soulful, uh, a very experienced singer, you can tell, uh, and he he really loves what he do, and and he just he has one of those voices uh, that you gravitate towards, and I see his career being very bright, and uh, he he will be making a, a good scene on on the rock and soul uh, soul scene. But the eventual winner of the competition, um, Melanie Amaro, she is excellent. You hear me? You know, Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Adele, and she did that in one night. I mean, the girl is phenomenal, and she's well, well, well deserving of that win. And um, just to think, she almost didn't even make the uh, the live shows. You know, the other judges had to uh, come at Simon to say, hey, bro, you, you made a big, big, big mistake. You need to go get her. And uh, I'm glad he did. I mean, she really was one of the main reasons why I continued to watch X Factor in the beginning because I wanted to see how far she would go and uh, from her her awesome audition that she had uh, with the listen song that she probably uh, eventually won off of from uh, the night before the Thursday night show when she act uh, the Wednesday night show when she actually performed that song once again but um, like I said the girl is phenomenal I look forward to hearing her on the radio and buying her records now let me just delve into uh this this tip for that judge judge scene that we had here with the x factor they tried to make it seem like simon and in la were going head to head not really i mean they they went tit for tat a little bit um you know when it came down to three artists apiece they, I mean, they were blowing the girls out the water from the beginning so um I don't think that was too much of an issue. I think it really should have been more about what Simon and Nicole co conflict between one another. But I don't think they wanted to bring attention on it. Um, because in the rumor mill, uh, I heard last week that um, Nicole will not be returning as an X-Factor judge next year. Now, I'm not going to speculate. I'm not going to confirm any of this because I don't have confirmation. I don't know the... Uh, the great detail of what that involves of her whether she will return or not return but that is a rumor out there and I can see it being possible just from the conflict that they had on the show between her and Simon I don't think Nicole was a hundred percent prepared for the combative nature the combative nature of Simon I mean it's just the way he is uh, I don't think she was uh, prepared or, or had a thick enough skin to deal with it as so harsh and as consistent as he would come at her, he just downplay her all the time. I mean, no, she's not a Mariah Carey, and and no, she hasn't even sold more records than uh, let's say a Christina Aguilera who's on The Voice. But you know, she is a a a, a relevant artist. I mean, I give her that, and she's good for the show. She's very pretty. Uh, she's smart and she's intelligent. She's humble and all that good nature stuff. She makes uh, she has good quotes. Um, but I, I think when it came to just being able to just take what it says and not, you know, with a grain of salt, you know, it, it's all in, in fun. It's all in just good TV. And that's all. Um, 
and Steve Jones, I think he did a good job um, hosting. But I think at the critical moments with Rachel Crow when she collapsed on the stage, and even last night with Melanie Morrow, hey, bro, my only advice to you is when things get to the uh, final four or five, you know, when you get close and those artists get real emotional on stage, give them a moment. I understand that you have a show that uh, the show must go on. I understand you have a short time to do it in. But when it comes to a 13-year-old girl collapsing on stage and the other artists who just beat her out with votes, wants to console her, let it be. <laughs> and when uh, Melanie and Mara, when the eventual winner of the X Factor can't speak, that is a moment of being speechless. And you just experienced it. And when the family it comes on stage and everything's so emotional, just give a moment. And as you can see, she could barely even perform after that. But good job hosting. Good job um, first season for X Factor. It's going to be interesting to watch how it progresses throughout the seasons to come. And we'll see if it can um, or just live up to uh, its expectation of, of being a real viable competitor. Uh, competitor against you know the big dogs like American Idol and and now we even have The Voice so all these sh singing competition shows are going head to head got the dancing one so uh, I think the X Factor USA has a very good start with the season one and like I said it's just interesting to, to see how it progresses how people uh, gravitate or, or go away or you know if it broadens or the talent that actually comes out to perform is just going to be interesting to watch. Uh, so, until next time, like I said, once again, it's your host, I'm Wizzy, Flyby TV. Peace, love, happiness, and have a happy holiday season. See you soon.